what's up y'all it's Andy from North Alabama Adventures so I'm gonna this is a day or two later after this is filmed but this is just gonna kind of be like an example of the good of fishing and then the bad of fishing up here below the dam you got some kind people I met some subscribers from Missouri of all places down here fishing for a week thank y'all so much for watching the videos it was good getting to talk to you guys and kind of see what y'all are up to and watching y'all sling those a-rigs man i can't imagine how sore y'all's arms are y'all might have just big old popeye pythons those slinging those things around all day but i appreciate i appreciate you giving me that uh, little a-rig after we had a good joke about getting hung up down there and i swear you know i've got about 150 dollars worth of tackle and a-rigs down there in front of number five and number seven so if anybody's got scuba gear let me know anyways i appreciate the rig man thank you so much i'm gonna look on team for those and see what i can find it was nice to meet y'all uh like i said though this is you know that that's the good part of this and i had a guy that's kind of i had a guy basically almost run into me you know and uh i had to push him off so you're gonna see that as well Got any bites? <laughs> you got your A-rig going? Got a few. small Joe He's a hybrid. The will to live and that one was strong. Look at that smallie doing airbags.
over here to my left you're about to see a boat enter the picture and this is going to be the subject of today's discussion of how close is too close so uh, just stay tuned I'm going to try to speed some of these up to where you don't have to sit through it the whole time Alright, I'm going to speed these next couple clips up so y'all can just kind of see what happens. Uh, just a PSA here, if you're fishing below the dam, always be able to control your drift and you know, check which direction the water's flowing and you know, know what you're drifting into. I mean, good grief. Like I said, I'm just going to fast forward this. Y'all probably seen enough hybrids of white bass for the day. All right, so here they are on uh, this is pass number two. For the guys over there, I mean, if you're close enough, like they was a second ago when they drifted past me, where I can smell your, uh, you know, sausage biscuit from this morning, you're a little too close. So it's about to get even better. So I'll make the comment here about, you know, hey guys, do you want me to just jump there in the boat with you and fish with you? You know, just kind of playing it off like a joke. But I mean, it really, you know, honestly, it, it, it's, it's so aggravating because, I mean, here you see they're drifting right between where me and my friends from Missouri had just been, you know, slaying those white bass. And they're drifting right over them. You know, I don't know. Frustrating. Frustrating. And then right here, guys, the, the good side of fishing with each other and respecting each other's space. Like, you know, these guys are from out of town. They come down here to our area to fish, you know, our waters. And, you know, I love seeing people from out of town, you know, bring tourism and money pumping into the economy. And, you know, if we've got guys like the gentlemen who floated in between us over there, you know, you can see them still over there on the far left. It's like, you know, stuff like that gives, you know, us fishermen down here, us local fishermen, that gives us a bad image, you know, to an extent. But, you know, I, I hope and pray that everybody that, you know, tour, tourism-wise that comes down here and fishes knows that, you know, we're not all the same. So, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, he, he gave me that uh, A-rig there from, from Team U, a Team U special. So I can't wait to try to order some of them myself because, I mean, no joke, 150 bucks or so worth of gear sitting over there between Turbine 5 and 7 somewhere on them shallow rocks. Thank you so much again for the, uh, for the rig there.